Oh, hey! On this episode of Deprav Power Skating, we're going to have the part two series to how to take care and how to train on synthetic ice. Coming up next. Hey guys, Coach Ryan Depra here with Depra Power Skating at Depra Power Skating Studios. This is the part two series. If you missed part one, go look underneath this video, click the link, and you can watch the first part of synthetic ice training. Now, as I was telling you in the first part video series, this is a product made by my friends at Ice Rink and Engineering. I'll leave the links down below if you'd like to get in touch with them. This is a high-end synthetic ice, and you can see after a week of sessions, I don't know if you can get in close, this is some of the shavings. Now this product is not a self-lubricating panel. This has to have enhancer on it, or as I call it, the lube, to make it glide easy. And I like that better because if you go to other products, you would see this amount of shavings after about an hour. So with EZ Glide, this is the 500 series, the high-end series. They also have uh, a 350 and a 250 and lower series for at-home products that you could use in your garage. Um, you would get way less shaving. So you can see this is after about a week of training. And I take the uh, high-tech squeegee here, as you can see, just to kind of sweep that off before I do the rest of the cleaning. So uh, once a week, we take the Glide Enhancer, and you can see it's just a real simple pump bottle um, that you can pick up anywhere, and give it a light spritz. I don't do it any more than that. This actually needs to be filled back up. But it's a mix of equal parts water to Enhancer. If you go too thick on it, when someone falls or touches the ice, you'll get like a real greasy feel to it. And if you want to cut that down, this should only be done about once a week. But like I said, I like this product. Yes, you have to add in the enhancer to, uh, to the synthetic product to get it to glide and it's not built in. However, I get less maintenance because of less shavings. It makes the product work better. It makes it look nicer and it doesn't get all over the players' bodies, which is a huge win in my book. Really nice. Now, the nice thing about adding the enhancer to the product is the fact that once a day, I don't even have to use any more of the product and spend any more money on these tiles. All I use is simple pack pollen, heat to You give it a little spritz and it brings the lubrication back up out of the tiles for the next training session. Just a real light mist like this will do. And it brings it right up back up to the top. Now I'm not talking Clark Griswold shining up the sled flying down the hill kind of fast, but it makes it slick. And then we're right back to the as close as you can get to ice-like feel for a training. I want to ride the Zamboni. Yeah, as you can see, synthetic ice is a lot like real ice, and you have to have a Zamboni driver. Cool thing is here, there's no propane, right? There's no way you can accidentally take a turn too hard and bust into the boards and knock them over. You kind of go old school, and all we have in here is a heavy board with $5 towel from Walmart and what this does is it spreads the water and the synthetic enhancer out evenly also picks up any dirt and shavings plus you look really cool and everybody wants to drive a Zamboni I hope you like this video on synthetic ice training and how to maintain synthetic ice Make sure to check the links down below so you can get in touch with my friends at Ice Rink and Engineering and they can direct you to this product and they'll hook you up, take good care of you. 
Now, so you don't miss any future videos from Proud Power Skating, because there's a lot coming in 2021. Make sure to subscribe, like, and smash that notification bell when the new videos arrive. Just like number 99, I'll see you next time, and have a great one.